welcome or welcome back to my channel i am jasmine kim and in today's video i'm going to be bringing you guys along with me for my day um today is my day to go into the office i usually work from home but in my job we there's like four or five groups <clears throat> and each group there's one person that has to come in um to process any like paperwork or checks for the entire group so today is my day and we get to pick the days so i pick every other week um i just came back from training so i haven't been um in the office for a little minute uh, i went away for training but yeah so today is my week i mean today is my day and i'm gonna go in um we have to pick up mail. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to like get ready for work as well. We have to pick up the mail around like 9 30. Um, I am running a little late. I have to be to work at eight, but don't the one thing about my job is very lenient. But when it comes to this, they like don't play about because you know it's hella errors and things like that. So yeah, I have to go pick up the mail by 9 30. Um, and I have to finish processing it by 1 30 so even if i get there at nine um well i won't get there at nine i'll probably get there um a little after eight probably like eight, three five ten minutes late but yeah so today's my day and it's usually a very easy going day i just process the mail um in the morning and that's it i'm gonna be doing um working on my work today after i finish my duty I'm going to be working on my work so it's really a light day i don't mind going in on these days because yeah it's nothing to do and plus and plus nobody's in the office like my manager she is in west virginia that's where she's located because my my actual manager he's on a detail sorry for my birthday i'm trying to hurry up but my actual manager he's on a detail um and he's been on his detail for like almost a year so they keep adding people to fill in for him and the person that they had filling in for him she actually has her own team but she is in she is stationed in west virginia so <clears throat> like literally when i tell you nobody's from my team is going to be there maybe one girl because she comes in office every day um but because she's i don't think she's eligible to telework every day yet i'm trying to decide if i want to do my edges I don't know. I'm basically going to bring you guys along for that. And I already have my lunch and stuff packed. But let me hurry up and finish getting dressed. I'll show you guys my outfit in a second. Just like this little pilgrim dress. And then we're going to go to work. Okay, guys. So here's my dress. It's a quick little pilgrim pilgrim dress or whatever. It's really cute. I don't know. I'm going to do it like this so y'all can see it. But, like, yeah, it's really cute. Um, I got this dress from old navy i need to put my earrings in i gotta find them i think they in my bathroom but yeah i'm about to go ahead and pack my lunch i already got everything i just need to put it in my lunch box i'm not going to do a montage of that because literally it's almost eight o'clock and I, like i said i have to be to work at eight o'clock luckily i only work like 15 minutes from my job but still i need to get there so i'll see y'all when i actually get to work all right guys so i made it to work it's currently 8.21. I got here at like 8.17. Sorry about whispering because sorry about hitting noise in the background. That's the, like the um, air conditioner. But yeah, I made it to work. Not that late. <laughs> um, so I'm about to go open up the mailbox. We have to go down at 9.30 to get the mail. So I still have some time. Um. And then I'm gonna just do, y'all see me like process the checks and everything. And then um, I'm gonna work on some work, make some phone calls today. But yeah, I'm at work. I'm low-key thirsty. So I'm about to crack this bottle of water open. I'm not really hungry right now. I'll probably eat my breakfast um, a little later, but I did bring my breakfast. So got my lunch. I forgot to bring a fork though. So we'll see how that works. <laughs> Cause um, the cafeteria here is closed. So I don't know where I'm gonna get a fork from. And I made a really good, delicious lunch. I have Brussels sprouts, rice, shrimp, and cucumbers. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. <laughs>
so I've been pretty productive today. Um, got all the mail situated. Then talked to two taxpayers. Talked to two clients on the phone. And right now it's it's 12:25, and I'm getting hungry. And I brought my lunch, so I have some cucumbers for snack. I'm trying to like eat a lot more vegetables and fruit, so I brought this as my snack a little later today. And I made some ginger ale. If y'all want to see how I made the ginger ale, let me know. I'll let y'all know. Um, but yeah, I made my own ginger ale using ginger, lime, water. Um, using ginger, lime, agave, and sparkling water. And then I have my lunch, which I really need to use my camera so that y'all can see. But I just have some spinach, some cucumber, some rice, and some Brussels sprouts. I ate this last night dinner and it was so good. Or a spoon. I have a knife though, so I don't know how I'm about to eat my lunch, but I'm hungry. I look really nice today, but I am hungry, so I'm about to just go ahead and warm this up and work on some stuff. I, I'm, I like when I'm in the office, I like to work through my lunch, so but yeah, I'm about to find out how I can get a spoon off of work. This is ridiculous. Okay, so I'm on the hunt for a, for a spoon or a fork. So I'm gonna go down the stairs to another floor and check their break room. Because our break room only had knives, so. So, I'm about to eat my, thin, my lunch. I just heated my lunch up. I've already been drinking on my ginger ale. And, hot. So, I'm about to enjoy this meal and do some. Guys, so it's the next day. It's Thursday, August 10th. Um, I am working from home today. I'm so happy about that. So right now it's currently 8.24. I've already logged into my work computer um, and I have my work phone right here. I'm recording on my phone, but I have my work phone right here um, just in case um, some messages come through, emails or something come through. But I'm about to do my skincare and I'm so happy that I'm working from home today. Um, I pretty much, I feel like yesterday I kind of like didn't give you guys a lot of information because i was rushing trying to get to work because i didn't wake up on time which i actually woke up at five o'clock and i didn't get out the bed until seven so that's a problem and i want to talk about that later but yeah so before i start i'm about to use this purple glistening um ginseng cleaning balm from nutrium i really been like it i really have liked this i got it probably uh three weeks ago and i really love this product it makes my face feel so good like when I the application of it I love it um and it just makes my face feel, feel really good and it gives me that glow that I need and yesterday for some reason it was a lot of people in there so the girl on the that sit on the other side of my cubicle I've never seen her ever um because I'll basic because everybody works from home pretty much and I've never seen her. And yesterday she came into the office. So that's why I also was whispering because there is one girl that sit by me. She's like a, um, she does like administrative for another team, like administration for another team. She sits like by the copy machine. Like my desk is right here and her desk is probably like, yeah, exactly. You can't even see her. Um, so like if I was to talk, she probably couldn't see me. The only time she sees me is when I come around to use the copy machine. Other than that, like, she can probably see if I stand up or something like that, but she can't really see me. So, yeah, 
So, um, I'm about to apply some water. And that's how it activates. Look at this, y'all. I love this product. But yeah, so she was in the office. And then another one of my teammates, she has to come into the office every day. She's not um, released to work from home yet, I don't think. Um, which sucks because I would hate to come into the office. But yeah, she's always in the office every time I go. And she's usually like the only person but this time it was a girl sitting next to her and i don't even think she was on our like that was her desk i think she just was sitting there um so it was them two the other girl and then yes and like talking to and you know like when you know people people come by your desk so people kept coming by the girl that sat next on the other side of me they kept coming to her desk um and also i don't sit where people can see me like you would literally have to walk over to my desk because I'm kind of like in the cut. She's like in the main walkway and I'm in like the back by the windows. So yeah, people were coming over to her desk talking to her and it was just like, wait a minute, I'm trying to record and everybody's here today. So that's why I really couldn't record. But yeah, so basically I go in, um, once I'm, basically I go in to process checks um, for my team and yeah, any paperwork, I put it in my team's box. And that's what it is. Like, So we have probably like four or five teams, I think. And one person from each team has to come in. Um, so somebody has to be there every day. Not the same person. Um, on my team, we have about 10 or so people. And we just all pick whatever day we want to come in. And that's when we come in. Um, like my next day is the 23rd. So I like to go every other week because... We have to pay for parking, which sucks. Um, so I don't like to come in t the same week or come in the following week. Like I like to come every other week so that, yeah, I'm not paying for parking. Because parking is like $16 and $16 adds up, okay? So I know some people on my team, like they do, I think we're supposed to have like three or four days. They do two days back to back or one week and then in another week they'll do two days back to back again i don't do that i do every other week um i've done two days back to back like in june and i did not like it it was easier because there was no mail to process because i was the second day because i was there but yeah i didn't like getting up and going to work twice in one week so yeah, yesterday was pretty much chill for the whole entire day. Y'all saw I ate my lunch. Um, I had to find a spoon or fork because I left it. Um, I'm just going to put this product on. Same thing, Nutrium. Um, and this is the serum. So I'm going to put this on first and then put my moisturizer on. But yeah, so um, went in and I got all my work done at like 10 o'clock because they changed like the procedure. So I got it all done. I got all the work for that duty day done at like 10 o'clock. And then I was able to do a lot of my casework, which I was really productive yesterday. Like I got a lot of work done, which I, two things about going into the office that I do like, I get a lot more work done because as y'all see, I'm working from home and I haven't even started work yet. And it's almost, <laughs> it's 8.30, so I probably won't start until 9.00. Um, I was very productive and I did a lot of walking. I closed my rings um, on my um, Apple Watch during work, like very early during work. Um, so I did a lot of movement. I walked up some stairs. Um, so that's the part that I like, that I actually like did a lot of walking and stuff. Um, but I was extremely tired when I got off of work. When I tell you I was tired. So I ended up going to the gym with my mom. And I was so tired. I could not really like work out. So basically all I did was I did the elliptical for um, 20 minutes. And then I did the treadmill for 10. And I got in the sauna for 10 minutes. I'm going to use some Cetaphil as my. So yeah. And. I really want to start going to the gym a lot earlier in the day and that's why I'm mad because I was supposed to go to the gym this morning and I for some reason just cannot wake up on time and I don't know why 
Like, I don't know why I cannot, I wake up, but then I go back to sleep. And that's a problem for me. I used to always be an early bird. I used to get up at five in the morning and get up and, and do stuff around the house. And I want to get back to that because I feel like when I get up early, if I go to the gym early, especially on the days when I work from home, again, I work from home 95% of the time. If I go to the gym before work, you know, I work from home and I'm, I'm kind of like an independent contractor. Like I don't have a boss that's like down my back, like, Hey, what are you doing? You're not working. Like we don't, I don't have that type of job. I make my own schedule. I work my case low. As long as I meet my deadlines, I'm going to put some cocoa butter, um, skin therapy oil on. As long as I meet my deadlines, I get my work done. Like my managers, they don't bother, bother you. Like I don't have a type of job where they're like, Oh, you've been away for this amount of time your status is showing this, like, I don't have that job. Like, I have the leisure of doing whatever it is that I want to do. I log in a couple minutes late, it won't be held against me. So I feel like I really want to go to the gym in the morning before work, like go to the gym at like 6.30. If I go to the gym at 6.30 and do an hour workout, I still have enough time to come back and log in on time. Like I have 30 minutes. The gym is only 15 minutes away from me. I can still get an hour workout in. And going to the gym at 6.30 is not that bad. My skin looks amazing. Okay. I love these products on my face. They look so good. Oh my God. I love it. But yeah, so I really want to start going to the gym. I need to just have some discipline and getting up early. Because I feel like... If I'm going to get back into the content creating too, I need to go to the gym in the morning because if I go in the gym in the afternoon, I'm not going to want to go to the gym, come home, edit a video and things like that. When I first started my other YouTube channel, which I got like, I think almost, I think I got 7,000 subscribers on that channel. When I first started that channel, I wasn't on like a weight loss journey. And so it was a lot easier for me to like work and come and then after work edit a video or record a video and upload it like put all that time in but now i have incorporated something else into my schedule and yeah going to the gym and then coming home trying to eat a dinner a meal <clears throat> coming home eating showering and then vlogging can it be done yes it can but i don't know i just feel like i don't like that a part of my routine like i like to be able to chill after work um, I would prefer to chill after work and do something content related, like maybe chill for an hour or so and then do something that's content related. So I really have to get back into going to the gym. Now, I do start with my trainer in two weeks, um, back with my trainer because I stopped because I was away for training for my job. So I start, I could have started already with him. But um, I want my payments to come out on a certain day. So I was like, hey, um, I'll come back this day. So I start with him in two weeks because I have two days left over from when I left. So I'm going to start, I think, the week of the 20-something. And then I'll start paying the week of the 28th. Um, so I will only go to him two days a week. And that is in the afternoon. But that's a little bit different. Like, at least... You know, it's only going to the gym once a day. I mean, one, two, two times out the week in the afternoon. And then also, I feel like, you know, even if I go to the gym in the morning on those days, I could just do some, like, cardio that morning. I don't have to, like, do a real big, a real uh, extreme workout. I don't have to do, like, a real extreme workout. I could just do, like, some cardio in the morning. I put two sweeps over here and one sweep over here, but it'll be okay. So yeah, I definitely just want to get back into going to the gym in the morning because I feel like with what I'm trying to do as far as content and being consistent, like it'll just work with my schedule. But yeah, so right now I feel like I'm doing a lot of talking. I'm about to actually put on some clothes, um, probably just some shorts and a shirt, and then I'm about to get some work done. I do have a meeting today with a client. Um, let's see who sent me a meeting on Teams. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, it wasn't nothing. Okay. So I do have only one meeting today at one o'clock with a client. And basically, I think from there, 
Um, I'm going to go to the gym then because I also don't like going to the gym in the afternoon. It's getting hot in here. But I also don't like going to the gym in the afternoon because it just be so crowded. And I like to be able to get my workout in and over with. So, y'all look at my skin. Those products have me glowing. Glowing. I love it. But yeah, let me go ahead and let's get some work done. Let's, let's go sit at my, I'm going to go sit at my desk and I'm going to turn on some YouTube on my iPad. And I'm going to get some work done until this meeting at 1. I'm going to eat a little later. I'm not really hungry right now, but then I'll show you guys what I'm eating later. So let's go. Mm -hmm. day and i've been working okay i've been really like in a peaceful space like i love working in my office i did change it around first my desk was here but now i put it here and i obviously have it by the windows you know for the sunlight and just to be able to like look at the sky and just you know a whole vibe um i have my infused going infused, is this an air diff yeah air diffuser whatever i have it going in on i have some oils but what i have been enjoying lately let me show y'all what i've been doing let me put y'all right here y'all stay up y'all stay up for me all right let me show y'all what i've been doing though so i have been taking these these are the glade plugins i have them around my house um, and I really enjoy the smell of these. Sorry, I got a bra on. I really enjoy this smell. This is the cedar wood and jasmine smell. I really enjoy this. Like, I love it. I haven't changed it since I moved in this house. When I first bought my house, um, the contractors, when they were working on my house, they had, like, had this plug-in. And I just love the smell. And I just never got rid of it. Like, my house, this is the staple smell for my house. Like, even if I leave, I feel like it's going to be in my house but um yeah so i basically just let me show you one that i already did basically i just take it and i cut it off cut this little part off and i push it in and then i just let it drip 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 into the water and like the aroma is amazing so when my plugins get this low instead of me throwing them away um i'll just refill them and then i'll bring them up here so that i can put in my air diffuser and I really love it. Like, I really, it makes this room feel so cozy, so warm. Um, yeah, so that's what I do. Um, I have a little bit <laughs> left in this, not a whole lot, but I probably will, um, when I put more water in here, I probably will just actually put this little stem in here. Never did that to see how it work. I um, probably can't because I can't get it out. Um, so yeah, but yeah, I, this is a good idea i don't know what made me come up with this idea but if you have an oil diffuser or air diffuser whatever um a humidifier whatever i don't even know what the name of it is if you have one of those and you just like your house to smell good and you don't want a whole bunch of different smells take your plugins when they get to when they get low and this is actually a lot but i had changed the ones downstairs so i was just like let me just take it up change it keep it and put it in the water and let the aroma flow so yeah so i've been so this room is very close cozy this is like my office slash closet space i'm trying to get it together i'm going to put a couch right here i want to put some like led lights up um so when like i'm off of work i can just sit up here and vibe and this is just like i don't know like this is will just be a part of my house where like my zen like of course i have my living room but i don't know i like this little space i can work on content i can do whatever i can but i want to get a little couch to go along this wall right here um and i found one on amazon and it's only like 300 and something dollars and i'm getting it soon so i'll do a video y'all see me like redo this room or whatever and make it a little bit cozier but yeah i just been in here i've been vibing it feels good in here it just feels amazing and i love working in an environment like this so i also want to buy i'm going to get rid of 
this these two chairs i'm gonna get rid of them sorry don't worry about the mess but they're not good quality i got them from marshall's and i've had them since i moved here it's been almost two years and these little things i'll show y'all these little things are at the bottom of here you see and they keep falling out and then the chair i was just feeling it and like the wood is poking out on the side so they're not good chairs so i want to get rid of both of them um and just get me a desk chair and yeah we're gonna get this room together because this is a vibe like i just love how this room feels or whatever but yeah let's go down here and make some breakfast um I'm going to, I'm trying to stick, let me put y'all down because I'm tired of holding y'all. I need to really use my camera. Let me show y'all before I do that. So this was my, I love this camera. This was the Canon G7X Mark, whatever, I don't know, two, I think. And as y'all can see, the flip screen broke off of it. I really enjoy this camera. This is my first camera. And this is honestly why I haven't really been recording because this were camera, it recorded for a very long time. The only thing that I didn't like about this camera is that the battery didn't last that long, but it recorded for a very long time, meaning that like I could record for 16 minutes at a time and before it cuts off and it didn't overheat. Now I have this camera, which is the camera that everybody has um this is the sony zv1 um yeah i think sony zv1 uh yeah sony zv1 and granted the quality on this camera is amazing um i got the little you know what is this tripod to go with it the camera on here the quality on here is amazing i love the microphone and everything but this camera, you cannot record for a long period of time. And if you are recording for a long period of time, it overheats. So that's another reason why I really haven't been recording. And I kind of want to get another camera because I just feel like the content that I want to be, that I want to record like I used to on my other channel, I just won't be able to really get it done with this. Um, this is good for like vlogs if you are like cutting the camera on and off to like go to the store. But to do sit down videos and stuff like that. This doesn't work than that for like sit down videos but i kind of want a new camera i kind of want a new camera um, i also need to figure out the settings on that camera but yeah whatever i'm about to go ahead and make me breakfast though um so i am st sticking to my meal plan i'm just eating a little bit later in the day because i'm trying to do a little bit more fasting um so right now i'm about to eat some breakfast i'm gonna eat i have some pre-made um chicken sausages turkey sausages i'm sorry already made um i put them in an air fryer and so i'm gonna have one of them i'm gonna cut it up and then i'm gonna make me an omelet with some spinach in it and then i'm gonna eat some fruit on the side i have some strawberries and that's gonna be my lunch i mean my breakfast low calories um very low calorie um low carb diet so y'all really need a bra <laughs> also uh, and then for lunch i really want some tuna fish i cut up some cucumbers um couple days ago and i really want to eat my um tuna fish with my cucumber so yeah let's go down here and i really need to use my camera because the phone just ain't working but yeah so let's go down here it's really dark in my house upstairs because i guess because of my hallway the way that my hallway is so it's really dark um and i need to open up the blinds downstairs as well because you know i like to have light in my house and if you are i don't know what i was looking at but if you are someone who you get in bad moods a lot or you feel oh the word that everybody likes to use these days depressed open up your blinds <laughs> like get out of that dark space space open up your blinds let some sunlight into your house you'll feel a lot better like trust me i know i open up my blinds every single day every day that i wake up i open up my blinds and maybe it's a habit from when i live with my parents like my mom always my parents always my mom always opened up the blinds um so yeah that's what i do uh, i have my own house i need to put these dishes away i also want to juice um probably and this is why i say that i need to go to the gym in the morning because 
I want to juice later on. I have this watermelon that I want to juice and it's really good. I actually have a little bit left from the last time that I juiced. Um, and pro tip, if you juice watermelon, you will get a lot of juice because watermelon contains a lot of water. Um, it's also good to eat because of the water if you are on like a fruit and liquids diet i would recommend doing watermelon because of the uh, water you don't want to get dehydrated and stuff like that so i love this um but i'm planning to juice this and also cut up some so that i can actually eat and this here is some from the last time i had just like um i just i felt i had to um i had it in a bigger container but this is what le was left over because i made some ginger ale okay y'all i be in here i've been experimenting with like the healthy foods okay so here's the ginger ale this is all that i have left um basically what i did to make it i'm sorry i'm sleeping now i have it on like my window ledge and it's not high enough but um all that i did to make this was i boiled some ginger um put four cups of water in it, boiled some ginger for about 30 minutes. And then I took a strainer and drained it because I boiled it with like the actual skin on it and everything. Um, and then I added some salsa water. Is that what it's called? Salsa water, the little bubbly water. What's the bubbly water that everybody drink? It's in my trash can. Would it be dirty if I look in it? Let's see. Okay, it was on the top of the trash can. But yeah, I used one of these. This is called sparkling water. Sorry, not salsa water, sparkling water. Um, so yeah, so boiled the ginger, um, strained it, added lime and agave for sweetener, and then put the sparkling water, and it tastes really good. So if y'all want to see me like make this one day, comment below and in the comment section and i'll put it in the video i also asked my instagram and they want to see it so i'll make a reel for it too okay so made some ginger ale so yeah i'm just basically like i probably could move this watermelon but i don't have no counter space right now i am just also trying to like experiment with a lot of like healthy options and it's funny because sorry i don't know y'all see that already. And it's very funny because um, these people are like sitting on their back porch and I don't know if they can see me. So let's put that down some. But it's very funny because um, a lot of stuff that I'm eating now, I probably would not have ate before. And I'm eating them now and I really am enjoying like the food that I'm eating. So I'm finding a lot more foods that are like good for your body, but also tasty. So. I see a lot of recipes on Instagram and TikTok that I'm trying out. And look, I brought some mushrooms. I'm going to make some um, spaghetti squash. I made it last time my boyfriend mom told me about it and I made it and it was so good. I had put um, ground beef in it though instead of ground turkey because they didn't have any. But this time I just want to do it with like, I'm going to use this as the meat. So I plan on making it. I might make that tonight. You guys may see it. And it made a lot. It made a lot of food. So I'll have it for a couple of days. But yeah, so I'm going to cut up some of these later tonight and like saute it. And this is will be like, this will be the meat for the, um, for the, uh, for the spaghetti squash because I'm making it like spaghetti. And I also heard like, um, mushrooms are a very good substitute for vegans when they like want to make chicken or you know things like that they they make it out of mushrooms so yeah i'm gonna cut this up tonight and make it as like my taco meat and i'm gonna put it in my spaghetti squash but yeah so yeah i'm about to make I also, I'm just like showing y'all everything. I'm just like showing y'all everything. I'm just so excited to be recording. Honestly, like, when I speak for real, like, I really love YouTube. I love recording. I love being in front of the camera. I just, 
y'all seen my issues with my camera upstairs i haven't recorded i also bought some kombucha um i'm gonna take a shot of this i heard well not today because it's so late i should have been took it but this is kind of like the apple cider vinegar with a little bit of fruit and with a little bit of flavor this is the pomegranate one it's honestly not that bad i want to take like a shot of this a day for digestive also i'm going to take my vitamin um in a few but you have to take it with food so i'm gonna take my vitamin in a few and i'm gonna take my fish oil and then these are the chicken sausages so yeah i'm about to stop rambling because i do have work to do and i want to get all my work done today i want to be very productive like that's what i'm trying to do i feel like i'm talking really really fast i'm so sorry i'm so sorry that i don't have a bra on but i'm working from home and i'm in the comfort of my home so a little nipple won't hurt if you are mad about a little nipple i don't know what to tell you but um i'm about to go ahead and make my breakfast really really quickly like i said i'm just gonna make an omelet and some fruit and then we're gonna head back upstairs and we're gonna finish this work all right guys so i finished cooking my breakfast and here it is so i just have oh what is this right now i don't know so i just have a omelet type so i just have the sausage chicken chicken sauce i mean turkey sausage um it's like italian turkey sausage low calorie um some egg white i use about three teaspoons of egg whites or is it three or two table i think it's table spoons three tablespoons of egg white one egg one whole egg and then i just put some fruit on my plate this is a low carb meal there's no carbs in it um the egg whites have no carbs the eggs have no carbs and then you know the fruit so i am trying to stay on like a low carb diet the meal plan that i have for my trainer he does require us to have um, a carb in the morning and then a carb at lunch but i'm trying to cut out that carb in the morning of course you need it it is raining outside it's always raining it's been raining this entire summer but of course you need it so that it helps with um carbs are good not a lot of carbs are good but carbs are good when you're on a healthy meal plan so yeah um i am going to eat carbs though for my lunch even though it's almost 12 um i'm going to eat in another two hours so that's another thing my trainer has me do um i eat in two to three hour increments or whatever um so my next meal is supposed to be my snack but because i'm eating later in the day i usually i'm gonna skip snack one um but i'll eat my sorry y'all i'm not the only one i like to clean up afterwards but yeah so i'm basically my meal plan with him and i talked about this in another video um you're supposed to have breakfast snack lunch snack dinner um so what i'm doing is i'm having breakfast lunch snack dinner um, I just think that it works a lot better for my body. But yeah, this meal right here is less than 500 calories. I've weighed it before. It's like 30 something. Um, I did not weigh out my strawberries this time. Usually I try to do four ounces of fruit. Um, I just did three strawberries and cut them up in half, which is about four ounces. Um, the chicken, Italian, the turkey sausage is only 160 calories for one. And then I think it's only like 25 calories for the egg whites and the egg so yeah this meal is low at less than 500 um so i am trying i will i will be going back to like counting my calories and weighing my food probably like the end of this week like i said i just came back from training so i'm getting back on to getting back on track oh yeah and then i put some spinach in here as well that's so good um so yeah this is my lunch slash snack um but yeah this is my first meal of the day it was really good i created a reel so i just put the reel up here i didn't really in the content creating mood like i didn't record it created a reel about to go back upstairs do my work and i want to take some pictures and possibly create another reel tonight when i go to the gym yeah so i don't know what i'm about to drink um i oh, this is so good Mm. This is so good. This is really good. But yeah, I'm about to go back upstairs and work. I'll see you guys a little later. Alright guys, it's a little later in the day and it's actually 2.43 and I'm getting along hungry. So I'm going to go make me some tuna salad. Y'all, I've been very productive today. I didn't record it. I didn't create a 
reel slash tiktok i got some work done so today i try to work so when i'm at work i try to work on five cases at a time and let me put it right here i have tried to work on five cases at a time so i completed three cases and i'm about to start my fourth one i literally get off at 4 30 and i feel like i can get the last two cases done um i actually worked on four cases today because i worked on the case where i talked to a power attorney yesterday so i had to file some paperwork for them um but just a little rundown of what i did this morning i worked on two cases did some research for them um, i spoke with a client um at like one something it was a brief call maybe like 20 minutes or so and now i need to work on then i work with my trainer um because she helped me with something so yeah we worked on that and now i just need to work on two more cases two more cases and i will feel like my job is complete tomorrow i wasn't going to go into the office but tomorrow i think i need to print and mail off some stuff so i may go into the office tomorrow to mail something i really need to figure out how to set it up where i can mail from home because we have the option like we have a print i have my printer i need to get a little stand for it but yeah i have a printer and then down here i have like paper that i took from work i didn't technically take it from work because any supplies that we need for home we can get it so i have like all the paper and the printer um, and i even have envelopes i just need to figure out how to mail it off like go to my post office and drop it off instead of going to work and having them do it because we pay for parking and i know y'all probably like oh video this girl ain't had no bra on i'm sorry <laughs> i'm at home i'm free but um i really need to do that i'm gonna try to do that maybe work for some credit hours because we don't get overtime but i may work for some credit hours and figure out how i can mail from home that is my next task because at first i didn't set up my printer and i had to keep going into the office to print now i have my printer set up i need to figure out how to mail once i do that i'm never going into the office again so yeah i'm excited but i'm gonna stop rambling because i want to go make me some tuna fish i'm not going to bring you guys along because i'm really trying to get this work done um i was gonna go to the gym but i don't know i was feeling very productive today like look at i ain't got nothing personal up. all right like look at it like got some case files on the floor got my tripod i've been i've been doing a damn thing okay so yeah i just want to get it done so i'm about to go and make some tuna fish with some cucumbers y'all my lips feel like it's splitting right here real close and personal huh <sighs> Oh, I could have worn these. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I really don't like these glasses. I bought these glasses because I've been seeing like everybody wear them. But I really just don't like them. I wasted my money on them. I really did. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, can't wait to get off work. All right, let me stop playing around because I'm playing around. I'm showing y'all my personality, which I love. But let's go and make some tuna. Some, some tuna all right y'all so i made my lunch slash snack and look at it so i got some two tuna fish with some cucumbers that i already had cut up and i also have my ginger ale y'all can't see it but my ginger ale that i had um made i'm excited to try it with the cucumbers seen somebody doing this and you know, cucumbers are a lot better than crackers. So let's see. This is really good. Really good. Like really good actually. So I used one can and that's good. I used one can and it was like the bigger can, not the little small one. So I have some leftover for tomorrow's lunch. And I also have some cucumbers left over that are already cut up. So I'll be eating this again tomorrow for lunch. And I know it's going to be a lot better tomorrow. Because you know how when... You put stuff in a refrigerator and it sits there and marinate. 
I'm really happy about this. And it's funny because I had some crackers downstairs. And I was like, nope, I'm going to try it with the cucumber. This is really good. So, mm, it is currently 3.03. I get off at 4.30. I'm going to work on these last two cases. Mm. And by the time I come back to you guys, we will be getting ready to go to the gym. I probably take a little break because I literally have been working nonstop. Other, other than the fact that I got up to make breakfast this morning and to also make this, I have not gotten up and taken a break or anything. So... I probably relax for a while after work before going to the gym. Um, as well as tonight is hookah Thursday. So I do if you don't know what hookah Thursday is, I do hookah Thursday and hookah Sunday in my home. And it's just like a time to like unwind, getting ready for the weekend. So usually I'll go down. I really don't watch a lot of TV during the week. So I'll catch up on my shows, smoke some hookah, stay up fairly late, <laughs> which is probably like 1, 2 o'clock, 12, 1 o'clock, which I don't need to because I want to go to the gym, right? Um, And yeah, and just smoke hookah. Sometimes I may drink wine, but today I'm not. I had a lot of uh, wine and alcohol last week, and then I'm going to my family's cookout this weekend. So I'll have it this I'll have a little this weekend as well. So can't wait for that. I'll bring you guys along for Hookah Thursday. So yeah, I can't wait for that. I'll definitely be bringing you guys along for Hookah Thursday. But right now, we finishing our work. <laughs>